What's up, guys? Here's another video I'm going to make because um, I, I actually didn't show you guys an EQ of a sweep of everything, so I'll do that now for you. Uh, I'm going to do a measure, and I'm going to call this the house curve raft cave. I'm measuring from 10 hertz to 200, and uh, we're going to start this. I got the volume at negative 19 on the Morantz. All right, so this is what I get. Negative 19 on the Marantz. And this is with everything, all my subs and the front speaker. So, got a little null here. Got a big dip down here. So the idea is to basically flatten this out to a nice clean line, right? That's what we want. Usually you're about to about 100. That's about 20 hertz. That's kind of where the clips are mostly rated at. So that's where I'm setting. So the idea is to clean this up right here. Get a nice house curve. So that's when you want to go into EQ. And this is the house curve right here. And um, there's a few settings you got to look into. I'm going to make sure you choose your equalizer. Mine's the mini DSP 2x4. And then once you choose your equalizer, um, these are the settings I'm kind of going to go with here. Subwoofer, cutoff 800, 12, 2 hertz cutoff, 120 hertz there, 18 hertz as low as I want to go. The rise and slope, I went at 3.5. So three decibels of kind of boost going that way. And uh, not sure about these two numbers. Now the target level, I'm at 80. That's going to bring this house curve up and down. Um, it's easier for the curve to pull the, the sweep down than to boost it up. So you kind of want to go towards the middle. So I'm going to kind of leave it. I'm going to go right there. So it has to boost this a little bit and then bring all this down to match that line. And then for filter tasks, 17 is as low as I want to go here to boost right in here. I want to boost that up as much as possible. 120 is the cutoff. Individual max boost, how, how much boost it's going to give you, how much you can go up. Overall max boost 10. Flattenest target is 1. Keep that as flat as possible. Check these two numbers here. And once you're ready, you want to match. Click the match response to target it to see it do its work here. And 92% uh, 90, of the response is in within range. Go ahead and check it and see what happens here. All right, so that's a predicted. So it's got this little squigglies here couple little squigglies but um they put in some filters here at one two three four five six filters let's save that so you go down here to save file and we'll call this 81 db save that then you drop or close or not close it but just minimize that and then you want to go into your mini DSP and you want to apply that filter to the PEQ of your subs so make sure you're on advanced and then you import that 81 DB that we just made okay there it is it applied that little filter I'm linked to my second sub 
So then I just move to the third sub, import that filter we just made, apply it, and it's already linked to, it's already linked to four. All right, so now that that's in, we just do a run another, another measurement. Helped a little. Definitely dropped the DBs. Went from 63 to 44. It didn't flatten it too much. Got a little bump here, but. Gotta try to raise that. Gotta try to raise that uh, house curve more. We go back into EQ. We need to raise that filter. All right, let's try another, another filter, another curve we put me made, and see if that cleaned that line up a little bit more. Look at that, now we got a huge dip. Gross. So we definitely gotta work on this. Just gotta keep going back and um, redoing that house curve over and over again. Put the filter back in the mini DSP and keep checking this line to see how we can get that smoothed out. Just gotta keep on working on it. All right guys, so after a bunch of trial and error with the EQ, I got it to this house curve here so there might be a couple of areas to improve a little bit here and bump this up here a little bit and then you can bring this down if you want up here and down here if you want flatten this out a little bit that's not bad not a bad curve much better than our original you know you got this huge dip here you got this big null here Kind of wonky here and some big dips right here in the blue. But at least I kind of cleaned that up a little bit. So if you want to adjust some of this stuff, you just click on what frequency that is, 22.24. And you go to your DSP. Parametric EQ. EQ1. Um, and then you put the frequency you want to adjust. So it was at 22.24. And you want to boost that. Let's say 2.0. And then the smaller the number, the wider it is. The higher number, the sharper it is. So I say it's a kind of a medium. So we'll just go four. So we'll back out of that and we'll go to measure and we'll see if he cleaned it up a little bit. So basically it kind of bumped it up a little more. See that it boosted two decibels. The 22.24. So we got a nice up and down here. So that's pretty good, pretty good. And it gets kind of wonky over here. So it's, you know. Maybe you can start this line up here. So go up and then down. But then that's gonna be more more EQ stuff. 
try to raise this up. It's a lot of trial and error back and forth, you know, just to see what gives you the best result. All right, guys, after a ton of tests, I think this is my final house curve right here. Got it at the 20 hertz here at the peak and then a nice gradual line going down to 100 and so forth, flattening out here kind of thing. But as far as base goes, pretty nice slope. Um, the way I cleaned it up a little bit is the parametric EQ is the U you go in and you tweak certain frequencies to add or, or subtract. So that's 48 Hertz, subtract a little bit, 52 Hertz, bumped it a little bit, 20 Hertz, bumped it a little bit, 63, bumped it a little bit, 36, bumped it a little bit, 80, bumped it a little bit. So tweaking various points of the graph, I was able to kind of clean a few spots up to smooth it out. Guys, let me know if this needs to be a little steeper or if this is a nice gradual drop into the 110, 120, 140, and so forth into the speakers themselves. But yeah, this is my final house, cur house curve. I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, that's the that's the EQ. That's when you measure your your subs, go into EQ, set up your various numbers, trial and error, get this house curve to flatten out the response as much as possible, and uh, measure measure your response and then put it into your mini DSP. So that's all set for me. Boom. Make sure you save. Save current configuration. Um, we'll call this uh, Raft Cave Final Curve. So I imagine I have to do, man, I might have to copy. Yeah, you have to go into config one, go in the file, load, and then copy it for the other configs. Whew, all right, I gotta do that in yep. So, all right guys, so, so there is some EQing going on for you. Little video there, hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Home Theater Rules, Wrath out, see ya.